topic of this lesson is linear programming, which, although it can be a little confusing, is actually uh, certainly the most real-world applicable uh, lesson we've worked with in quite a while. And that's because most of the time in real life, everything doesn't come out all nice and neat with easy numbers that divide evenly and come out with no remainders and so forth. And again, very often, they don't come out just exactly two equal to one thing or another. They end up being, you know, we will have to make more than a certain amount of dollars this quarter so that we can pay this many employees, um, or we have to pay less than this amount in tax or use less than this amount of materials. So a lot of times what you end up working with in business is inequalities rather than just equations. And that's where linear programming comes in. The idea is that we take certain values, and you can sort of follow along with these groups of values with example C in your text if you'd like. Um, what I did here was import the inequalities that describe the cupcake making business that was just the, the example put in there where he's trying to, the, the gentleman's trying to decide how many personal cakes and how many cupcakes he should make based on a limited amount of time, which is our first equation up here on top, and based on a limited amount of mixture, which is our second equation here underneath it. And with those limitations and different requirements for cupcakes and personal cakes, he needs to try and find what the best possible combination is for profitability. So what we do is we graph both of these um, descriptions on one graph. So we have our, our first description here that, de that describes the time he has. And basically it says that he could make as many as, it looks like about 20-ish cupcakes and zero personal cakes, or as many as about a dozen or so personal cakes and no cupcakes, or some combination thereof or that's less than either one of those values within the time that he has. So this first inequality describes how many he could make of each of those before he runs out of time. The second inequality, right here, c is less than or equal to negative 1 half p plus 10, that describes how many orders of personal cakes or cupcakes he can make before he runs out of mix. So somewhere where those two things coincide within this sort of light blue shaped area are the number of cupcakes and number of personal cakes he can make within the time that he has and with the mixture that he has. So what we're looking for are values within this light blue shaded area because it's, those values satisfy both conditions. Now, more importantly, from a linear, st linear programming standpoint, within this feasibility region, let me write that in there, F-E-A-S-I-B-I-L-I-T-Y, feasibility region, there are certain values that are going to result in a greater profitability than others. And those are the values he wants as a business owner. He wants to find what mixture of cupcakes and personal cakes that fits his needs for time constraints and for materials constraints will result in the greatest profitability. And because these things sell for different amounts, he can't just make half and half and call it good. He needs to be able to figure out what the best possible combination of use of materials and use of time is for him resulting in the greatest profitability. And because these points, the top left right here, the one in the middle right here, and the top bottom right down here, because these three points represent areas where one or the other or both of our inequalities are at the biggest values they can be while still being within the feasibility region, one of those three points is going to represent that maximum value, that uh, greatest profitability. So as we check for profitability or check for maximum or minimum values in linear programming, we just draw our graphs in and identify these points of intersection and then use those points of intersection and just calculate based on them which one is the, the ideal location for our needs because it has to be one of those points if it's using just these inequalities.